A lot of these beings that live in the center of the earth feel like the planet belongs to them because they feel like the humans have disrespected um, the planet. Many years ago mm. that there were 13 children, children yeah. that were born and they're all in different parts. Hmm. I wonder if all people like Elon Musk and mm. Bill Gates <laughs> and these people are one of those 13. He's got an extraterrestrial scroll 94 written by Pana Babianun, also known as Dr. Malachi Z. York. Yeah, um, again, like we said, he wrote books based on questions. So this is a question um, because the religious world, they talk about God, but they never really explain where God is. Um, even though they say heaven is up there in heaven, and we say anything that's outside of the planet is celestial. Celestial. So to come into the planet, it's terrestrial, the terrain of the planet. So if God is not here and he's outside of here, then mm. is he an extraterrestrial? This is the question that this book is posing. And then the book goes into addressing that question with all of the evidence that's been found, um, you know, the different religious groups that talk about God or Allah, Yahweh, Adonai, El Shad, El Shaddai. Um, Baal Inki. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the, one of the extraterrestrials' name is Gad. Mm. G-A-D. This is where the word God comes from. And this book covers so much information regarding is God an extraterrestrial? And what you have to do is look at the different cultures on the planet and what they say about God because each culture, they, depending on how far back they go, how old they are, they will give you their version of what they consider to be God. Mm. Um, this book covers the original... <laughs> my phone always what, does what, this. Where is that alone? What is it? It's for my chant, for, for us to, for us to chant. <laughs> okay, the alarm is... In our culture, we chant, yeah, and we chant 9... 3... 9, 3, 9. 9 a.m., mm. 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. And this is five minutes to the chant, so I always get an alert because the chanting is very important so that, you know, we can um, change the vibration and the frequency on the planet and connect with our ancestors because we do need guidance. Mm -hmm. um, our ancestors are also extraterrestrials that, um, you know, they vibrate and they exist on different realms. So that's why you always see me getting that um, alert. But well, yeah, this book is amazing. This book was actually first published in, in the 90s, around about 96, 97. Mm -hmm. And um, once again, Pana Babjanun, Dr. Malachi Ziyuk was well ahead of his time. Um, you hear a lot of people now talking about the Anunnaki, but he was breaking that down here, showing you about, you know, the, the, the tablets, the Gilgamesh epics. Numa Elish. The Numa Elish, Astrahasis. Tab the tablets of Atana, Atana, the Arcadian tablets, which, as I will say, in different cultures, like the Sumerians, were talking about these <sighs> beings, you know, Anu, Enlil, Enki, Arishkigal, mm. Nagal, Tammuz, you know, these are all um, Anunnaki. Now, one of the problems that people have is when we say Anunnaki, they think mm. it's talking about a specific species. Mm. But there are different beings that can be referred to as Anunnaki. The, the ones who look like us, i.e. the Negroid-looking ones, are the ones that, you know, people talk about mainly. But there are different types of extraterrestrials who Anu sent to the planet Ki in groups of 50, mm. which is what Anunnaki actually translates as. So this... Is God an extraterrestrial? Talks about these extraterrestrials that are being passed off in your Bible, in your Quran, in your Talmud, um, and these religious books as God. When the true essence of what we as Sabaean know is far greater than what you call a God. Yeah, so the, these, um, these gods in the Bible, you can see how they're weak. So the question was put, 
it's got a wimp. Mm. So there was a, a scroll that the master teacher, Pan Nabab Yanun, put out called, it's got a wimp. Remember, we say that the books are written from questions. So that's a question. Mm. And when we used to propagate, yeah. people <laughs> look at the book and don't see the question mark <laughs> and say, you're trying to insult God, mm. you're saying God is a wimp. And then when we actually look at this God character, how he sends his son to be crucified instead of himself coming down to deal with the matter. His only begotten son. His only begotten son. Like mm. You have to think, is that a wimp? Because yeah. really, if there's madness going on in your house, you're going to have to defend it you yourself. You have to defend it. You're not yeah. going to send your boy, your son, mm. go and deal with it. So when you start to look at that, um, so when we're saying it's God, an extraterrestrial, obviously you see the reptilian there, but there are different types of extraterrestrials. Mm. You know, so um, and if God didn't originate or come from this planet, would he be classified under this title? Mm -hmm. Is he an extraterrestrial? Are the angels extraterrestrials if he didn't originate from this planet? Yeah, this also <laughs> touches on people like the Mormons. It was talking about the Mormons with um, Moroni that mm. appeared to Joseph Smith, mm. and um, again, that's another extraterrestrial. Um, just scroll through, just see what's in store for you. Talks about Hitler being in contact with, you know, the Pleiadians who gave him a lot of technology. And that's why, you know, he was over, it was about to take over the whole world. Mm. Um, so Europe had to come together and try to defeat him. And he had crafts, um, you know, in the Antarctic and... Um, yeah, so this book gives you all the, the secrets that governments were hiding, UFO sightings, um, the plot, the invasion, because a lot of people were thinking, oh, they started to make movies um, calling them little green men because most people were afraid that if aliens did come here, as they call them, they were going to invade and take over the planet Earth. It shows you the, the Roswell crash um, with the retrieved body. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much information. So much information. Yeah, so again, we're going to have the link in the comment section so you can get this um, by clicking the link and getting that directly. Another one that must be in your library. Um, also goes into the um, IBM. Yes, that's an excellent point. So, so there's a movie called Space Odyssey and also um, many movies, Rosemary's Babies, um, where it talks about, you know, who they call the devil and the devil's children. So a lot of people didn't realise that there was a computer called IBM 3. Six, six, six. Mm -hmm. and nobody knew who was programming this computer and this this computer was in Belgium and it was one of the Antichrist or, or the children of the Antichrist and the reason it relates to IBM is because when you look at the movie um, Space Odyssey it, it had a computer that was taking over the world and when you look at IBM, if you write those letters I B M, and look at every word that come, every letter, sorry, that comes before, before I, what's up? What's before I? H. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. H. H. <laughs> <laughs> and before B, A. A. A, and the last one M, L. L, right? <laughs> which, 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 which spells how? how? <laughs> and in the movie, the, the, the robot that's taken over is called How. Mm. So they tell you things subtly, but you have to kind of like read between the lines. And when you start to tie it into, you know, other movies like um, Damien mm. and, you know, as I said, the, the, the Rose Rose's Babies, babies and yeah. stuff like that, you start to put the names and the places and everything together. The Pope came to, to New York, the Dakota House in 1966. Um, the Church of Satan was founded in 1966 and you know it all ties back down to these extraterrestrials that have come here and have been able to kind of like 
tie themselves into mm. society in yeah. all the you know facets of society to the point where they are running the world uh, covertly you know so what this how? Hmm? How? how yeah what is that that's why i said it was the name of a computer how how yeah. h a l mm. um but i'm saying you'd have to watch the movie to to for it to make sense but they were telling you how this computer is going to take over the world but what we're saying is that the actual computer that where today everything is on the internet that computer the original computer that was bringing this about was called ibm mm. 366 and the 366 that's what i'm saying ties into the devil and the devil children because one of the people that was programming this computer is one of those sons um the master teacher broke down to us many years ago mm. that there were 13 children, children yeah. that were born and they're all in different parts hmm. i wonder if all people like elon musk and mm. bill gates <laughs> and these people are one of those 13. things that make you go mm. 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 it talks about shambhala nagatha in here the inner world the subterranean in the world where um many of these beings like the donakil the teros um, rainies yeah duanis um so a lot many beings. a lot of these beings that live in the center of the earth feel like the planet belongs to them because they feel like the humans have dis um, respected the planet and they were here before some of some us, of some of the human humans. humans yeah this also goes into nabu for those that doesn't that say that nabu did not exist they've got a magazine as far back as 1915 and it's titled a scient um, electrical um, experiment and you can see on the cover there's a picture of Nibiru so this goes back as far as 1915 mm. and another jewel that we're going to give you um, for those people who may be struggling with losing weight for example you know you have some people that are really obese and no matter what they do, they can't lose the weight. Um, they can be on diets. And it's because some of these extraterrestrials have actually had children, offspring, that are on the planet as hybrids. Mm. So where you see these obese, really, I'm talking about people that are like 300 pounds mm. and all of that. And, you know, they can't get out of bed. They have to get cranes to get them out of the house and things like that. It's because you have extraterrestrials called Deros. Deros, yeah who have that type of genes and genetics and it's the same with other beings that have mixed in with people on the planet so people that suffer from hirsutism for example mm. which is having hair all over your That's body yeah. again you have beings <laughs> shaggy <laughs> beings that have mixed in with them so on the planet you have the main root races that are actually tied to these extraterrestrial beings um, so this goes into that so you can actually find out, you know, what's going on on the surface of the planet that relates to what's going on in the caverns and extraterrestrial coming from outside in. Um, and it shows you about cloning as well in this book, where it talks about certain people you know, you know, that have been cloned. Um, and this is going back to the 90s, mm. you know, so talks about the neutronoid race it talks about eisenhower you know who's the president or a former president of the united states because these people truman they made deals with these extraterrestrials to give them technologies such as the hovercraft I already mentioned the stealth bomber um it talks about the crystal city spoken about in revelation the crystal city is a fleet of ships that come, you know, out of the bigger ship known as Nibiru. Um, yeah, we could go on and on and on about. Yeah, it talks about know, um, this, the this pilot sport. Kenneth Arnold. You know where the first um, term came of flying saucers. Yeah, this was for what he witnessed. Yeah, yeah, goes into yeah, as he said, Roswell, Adolf Hitler. Look at this. It's talking about the chip as well that you're going to be chipped in your hand um wow this is going back to the 90s again and now you see computer chips implants mm. because the way they do it is they give you a problem and then there's a reaction then they give you the solution, solution. 
So, for example, children are getting kidnapped. Your mm -hmm. dogs and your cats are going missing. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. People would panic and react. What can I do? Then the solution. What about if we put a chip on your baby or your child or your animal, your cat, your dog, so we can find them easily? People go, yeah, that's a great idea. And now, obviously, it's even more tiny in terms of how small these chips are getting where you're dealing with nanotechnology. Mm. <coughs> and now it doesn't even have to be intrusive. Um, but yeah, so this is another one of those great books that you need to get in your library. Um, the question is, is God an extraterrestrial?